Welcome to 412, I'm Joe Howard, the youth pastor here at the NAS, and it's great to see you. This week we're going to jump right into lesson two of our series, More Than Red Letters, as we discover how the Old and New Testament all point to Jesus. Now we're going to take a look back in the Old Testament, the prophets predict the coming of the Messiah and all that would accompany his arrival. Jesus had a firm grasp on these prophecies as well as the rest of Old Scripture, Old Testament Scripture. He referenced them. He referenced verses and frequently throughout his earthly ministry. This lesson is going to help us appreciate how Jesus knew and loved Scripture and how he used the truth of the Old Testament to point people towards the truth about him. It's important for us to understand the depth of Jesus' familiarity with the Old Testament. That was the only part of the Bible that had been written when he walked the earth. Jesus knew scripture, but he also loved it and he quoted it. You guys have the opportunity to fall in love with the Bible too, as you draw closer to Jesus and center your lives on him. Alright guys, we're going to start this party off with a game. This game is called Right or Wrong. The concept is really simple. Your leader is going to read a statement, and if you think it's right, then you stand up. And if you think the statement is wrong, you stay seated. It's actually pretty simple. So, after you guys go through, I think it's 10 or 11 uh, statements there, if you could take some time and answer the questions provided in your neat little packet. Have fun. Knowledge can be a good thing. It can help us know what is true, what is accurate and reliable. Knowledge of scripture is good too because it can help us know more about Jesus and what it means to follow him. And it turns out that Jesus knew scripture well too, as we'll see in today's lesson. Now today, when we talk about the way Jesus knew and used scripture, we're talking about the Old Testament, the only part of the Bible that existed when Jesus walked the earth. Now let's see how Jesus pointed back to the Old Testament. We're going to spend some time as a group and read Luke 24, verses 13 through 34. And then if you would, answer those questions that you have in your packet. Slow down. Slow down. We're far enough from Jerusalem. We're just, we're just two pilgrims on the road. And if anyone asks, we were in Jerusalem for Passover. We, we heard of this Jesus. We saw him preaching in the temple, but, but we never saw him. Oh, we're Galilean, so maybe, maybe we heard him preach. We heard he was from Galilee. Who's that you're talking about? Jesus of Nazareth. What about him? He was some sort of teacher. Some pilgrims thought he was the leader come to free us. So they said to us. He was condemned and handed over to the Romans. So? He was crucified. And now they said he's come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> You don't believe the scriptures. Why do you say this? Isaiah wrote that the Son of God will come to earth. You'll know human death at the hands of men. Surely Jesus told you these things would happen. I heard such things. You're slow to believe. This is the bread of life.
This is my body. Given up for you. This is my blood, poured out for the healing of others. I tell you, he is risen. He appeared to us. He broke bread with us. Most of us find it easy to love a certain movie or a book or food or people. I'll watch the same movie over and over again just because I love it so much. But sometimes we have a tough time truly loving the Bible. Now here's my advice. Focus on Jesus. Read about him. Learn about him and discover what it means to love him. When you do that, you'll find it easier to love scripture because it all points back to him. The Old Testament and New Testament are both ultimately about Jesus. And when you realize how much you love him and what that means, you'll start wanting more of it. And like, I go back and watch that movie over and over again. You'll start memorizing uh, the lines like I do with the movies. You'll start memorizing scripture and it'll become more and more important to you. Now we're gonna take some time as a group to read Luke 4 verses 1 through 13. We're going to take some time to discuss the questions in your packet. Now, this wasn't the only time that Jesus quoted scripture. When you read through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you can find dozens and dozens of places where he quoted verses from the Old Testament. Once we know Scripture and love Scripture, we find it easier and more natural to quote Scripture. Sometimes we quote a specific verse that we've memorized, or times we quote a truth that we've learned. From reading and studying the Bible, you get knowledge and you learn and it becomes more personal to you. God can only pull out what we put in. And what I mean by that is if we just fill our lives with movies and TVs and social media and stuff, God can't pull out his truths. But if we spend time in the Bible and with God, he will pull out those scriptures, those, those truths when the moments we need them. Because as you look back and we just read about Luke, Satan uses scripture too. And we need to know it so we can pull out the truth and point it right back at his face. Now, I'm filming this before the election. I have no idea right now what the results will be. But we will know by the time you guys are watching this what happened. And I want you guys to remember, our hope is not in a man or a woman. Our hope, our promises, and our salvation lies only in the hands of the one who formed the universe, who gave us the very breath of life. The one who rises kings to power and takes them away. We need to put our faith and our trust in God, in his Son, and in his Spirit. Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Luke 24, verse 27. I want you to take time now to spend time in your group praying for one another, praying for your specific needs, your fears, maybe fear about the election, things that are going on in school. But also, leaders, if you could pray for a hunger for the scriptures to learn more about Jesus and any prayer requests that you guys have. Love you guys. Have a great night. God bless you.